Today we're going to be working on the OMC King Cobra. And this is the Daddy Cobra, so they call it. This is on a 92 Chris Craft. It's got a small block Chevy 350 in it. We're going to be replacing the bellow on the U-joint today. We're going to be looking at the gimbio bearing, making sure that's in okay shape while we're in there. And if that needs to be changed, we will. I'm suspecting it's still in great shape because my boots aren't actually ripped. They're just dry checked. And I'm going to replace them under caution. The tools we're going to need is a quick crescent wrench just to spin these plastic nuts off. We're going to need a roll pin punch. I like using a brass hammer, 5 eighths open end box and wrench, 5 eighths socket, 6 point with a swivel, I'm using a 3 eighths ratchet, long flathead screwdriver, pry bar, not so much for prying but just maneuvering things around, a chunk of wood, a green scotch brite, and a floor jack. First we're going to start by taking off the trim tabs. Sometimes these just spin right off. If not, use that adjustable crescent wrench you got there. Once you get it off, you're going to find 5 8 nuts with washers. You're going to remove both the back one front one on both sides. When you're pulling off these nuts and if one keeps spinning the shaft, not breaking the nut free once in a while you got to put a pair of vice grips onto it not something i like to do but luckily for me i just barely had to put any pressure and it broke right free with both trim cylinders down just hanging there gently you can use that 14 millimeter wrench to take out that bolt and then you can use your swivel to take out this one this one This one, this one, and that one. It's the only bolts, or the only nuts we have left. Okay, with the six outdrive nuts off and the four trim tab nuts off, this outdrive is ready to almost come off. First, I gotta break it free from here. And mine's corroded pretty bad. So I've jacked it up so I can fit my block of wood inside here in between the bolt and the outdrive side and I'm going to remove the jack if that doesn't put enough pressure on it to split it in itself which apparently it's not going to actually it did ever so slightly see the gap perfect normally I would just pick the outdrive up and bang it a couple times and that'll crack it loose so now that that's cracked loose just like that, even better now, I'm going to jack it back up, take that block of wood out, so it's no longer in my way. With the outdrive separated farther, you can get to the shift pin, shifting linkage pin. I'm going to use a 5 30 seconds roll pin punch to press that out. As you can see, I've had some water in this one, so when I put it back together, I'm going to make sure to fix that issue. Don't pull this apart too far until you get that pin out. Normally there's a plastic hood that snaps over this. I'm not sure what happened to it, so I might use a zip tie to keep it tight. With the out drive off, I ended up having to drill my roll pin out. I couldn't get that one get a new one. I use a screwdriver and pried all the way around here to get the old bellow out of that flange. Oof. See it took on some water here. We'll be cleaning all that up. Putting a little bit of Permatex on it. Clean this all up too. But with that out of there now we can drag this bellow 
out through the bottom. Make sure you loosen that hose clamp. It'll come right off. So as I had time to sit around and wait for my parts to come, I cleaned up the mating surface around here and around here. And then I greased my U-joints, greased the shaft. On the boat side, I cleaned up this, popped the O-ring out, cleaned all that out so I can get a good tight seal. This ring here for the water passage, I'm not going to play with because it's no longer available and it's in okay shape. I'm just going to use some silicone on it. In there you can see I've put a lot of grease through the grease zerk on the side of the motor. Go ahead and reach in there and spin the bearing around and make sure that's good. If it's not, you need to replace it. Lucky for me, mine's not bad. I caught my bellow ripped before it went in the water this year. Now I cleaned up the outside up in here, up on the top and around. And I'm gonna put a thin bead of silicone all the way around it to help seal it up. And I'm also gonna put a thin bead of silicone around here to help seal it up. And the reason I'm doing that is because I bought a Chinese knockoff reproduction bellow, not an original. I just couldn't justify spending $140 on one bellow when I can buy a bunch of the cheap ones for 30 bucks. With the outdrive pulled all the way up by hand, you can slip that bellow up into there. With a little maneuvering with your hand, get it up on its groove. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you tighten up your hose clamp and be done with the inside. Now you gotta drag her down and drag this bellow through this hole so it mates on that ridge. With the bellow up in that groove, nice and good. Like I said, I used a little bit of silicone all the way around just to, on this flange around there, just to get a little bit better seal. Because I've read the reviews and they don't. They say those bellows aren't the greatest. I also put a little bit of silicone around the water port and around the shift cable just to help seal things up. Now the fun part of sliding the outdrive back in. With the outdrive on my jack, I was able to slide it up in. I got the transmission in gear, so I spun the prop ever so slightly to get this CV shaft to go into the motor. Now I can install my shift pin, latch that down. Now I'm ready to slide the motor, or the, excuse me, the outdrive back up onto the boat, tighten her down. With the six bolts, or nuts, excuse me, tightened up, it's time to put the trim cylinders on. I took the time to clean up my shaft on my outdrive because it was in rough shape, real oxidized. You don't have to, but it makes putting things together a little easier. Once both your trim tabs are back on, both sides, and you may have to use your floor jack to jack your outdrive up or down slightly. Once you get them back on, all I'm left to do, put the nuts on with the washers, screw the caps on, and you're all done. Make sure to check your outdrive for uh, level gear oil. Have a good day.